We've been hearing a lot about scams lately, victims losing tens of thousands of dollars to fraudsters and how there seems to be no way of getting their money back. But in today's Invest segment, we have a story with a twist. A Singaporean fraud victim turning the tables on scammers after losing $80,000. How exactly did she do it? Well, let's find out. Invest editor Tan Wibun is with us. Welcome to the show again, Wibun. Wibun, we're going to talk about scam victims again. Uh, but this time around, it's a bit different because she managed to beat the fraudsters at their own game. How did she do it? You know something? I would actually love to invite her to come to the SD studio to tell her story personally. But we need to protect her identity because she's doing a lot of good work that will put many scammers out of work. She is a 34-year-old Singaporean who used to work as an online content editor. And yes, she was a former scam victim who was cheated of $80,000. But instead of wallowing in depression, she actually turned her agony into strength. In just eight days, she used her talent to create a website that we all know now as the Global Anti-Scam Organization, or GASO for short. As a victim herself, she knows how to counsel people and warn them of potential scams. And thanks to her, she has gathered a band of about 60 former victims. And together, this group has been doing great work around the world in warning people about scams. To date, they have intervened and saved over 5,000 people from falling into scams and also saved them from losing millions of dollars. Imagine our Singapore girl is making such an impact worldwide. No wonder someone commented on the SD Facebook that she should be nominated for the Singaporean of the Year Award. And on that, uh, Wibun, what advice does she have so that others don't fall victim? Well, she and I both share these sentiments when it comes to money, and that is never give money to anyone you meet online. No matter how compelling their stories are, you should never give money to anyone who you have not met face to face. Even video calls are not good enough because Gasso believes that some syndicates have been using technology to create images of real people talking as fronts to deceive their victims. So you could be talking to an avatar. So what this means is that if any of your online friends start to talk to you about investing, it's probably a sign that you're being targeted. As a general rule, you should be careful when it comes to investment. Avoid putting money into any unknown company. Always do your own research and deal only with companies you are comfortable with, not entities that are introduced to you by strangers. It goes without saying that if they tell you that your investment will make a lot of money, it is probably true because your life savings will come via profit. Great advice there, Wibun. Invest editor, Tan Wibun. The Straits Times has launched a Stop Scams campaign to create awareness and alert people to how they can protect themselves. You'll find stories and videos at str.sg forward slash stop scams.